Hello everyone and welcome to the Action Figuratorium. My name is Mark Major. I'm a real big toy collector hunkered down here in a studio in southeast Portland just trying to survive as they say. And we're going to talk about toys today. How about that? That's something we're going to do. Um, has anyone ever heard of a very small uh, flash in the pan toy line called Creature Replica? Well, if you haven't today, I'm going to explain it to you. And I personally have one recently acquired from the Creature Replica line. And we're going to take a look at it, and it may not be pleasant. So everybody, of course, you know, come together, strap on the leather, hold on tight for this one. Did you guys notice I went back to the old Bigfoot um, animation for the intro? If not, rewind, watch it again. You've earned it. It's a good piece. Okay, so what is Creature Replica? Okay, as far as I can tell, this was a company, a very small company of a couple people who wanted to do uh, sort of um, mythological modern creatures in action figure form. And they came out with a line of essentially four figures. Let's go check them out as they appeared on a Big Bad Toy Store. Now, they first came online in 2014 on their website, the CreatureReplica.com website. Their last sort of post was in 2016 on their Twitter account. And so I get the feeling that these guys launched their idea in 2014, somehow got it funded, got the figures made, um, shipped them out, sold out, kind of retired from the business. But here are the four figures they came out with. Essentially, there's two sort of Bigfoot on the left and two sort of werewolves on the right of the Bigfoot. There's a brown one called Sasquatch, and there's a white one called the Himalayan Yeti, right? And we're going to uh, take a look at these a little bit more in depth. I happen to have the Himalayan Yeti. We're going to put hands on it, hands in frame, that is, a little bit later on after I talk about these other guys. Now, the two other wolves they made, one is called a Louisiana uh, Rougarou. I'm not sure what that is. And the other one is called a whorehound, all right? And um, there is a pretty good, pretty good uh, YouTube video in which a uh, guy, Marlo the Collector, maybe I could post the link to him. Just go uh, check out his review and go through it in depth if you think this is interesting to you. Anyways, he compares the Bigfoot and the Yeti, and I don't know if you can tell, at first I was figuring that the way you do this is you make one buck for your sort of primate, and then you paint one brown, and you call him North American Sasquatch, and you paint one white, and you call him Asian Mountain Yeti, right? Turns out these are pretty different molds, pretty different sculpts. They, as far as I can tell, um, from here, they do not share any pieces. They do not share chest, the arms, hands, the heads, the legs. Nothing looks shared. So these are two separate molds. This is pretty, uh, pretty wild. They're about eight inches. One's about seven. The other one's about eight. It's a little bit taller, a little bit bigger. Similar thing with the two wolves. The two wolves, you've got the uh, Rougarou on the left, and on the right is the whore. Hound coming in at about eight and a half, nine inches or so. The uh, legs all the way down to the feet are shared on the two figures as the same parts. The arms are shared, but the torsos are different, even though they did start with the same sort of uh, blank canvas. On one, they added fur, the other one, they added all this like weird undead stitching, that kind of thing. Also, the one on the left, it has an articulated jaw. It can open and close. The other one is just sort of like that, right? And if you ask me, I think the one on the left is the one to get personally because it just seems like it has more options. Other, also, the other one's kind of creepy. All right, so check out Marlo the Collector for his two separate videos, one on the hounds, one on the Yeti. Um, 
there was also a couple other versions of the Bigfoot they offered that uh, were kind of a chase variant. There's a black one, all black, called the uh, Silverback. And you notice that the face on it is kind of like uh, Chaka from that old Land of the Lost show. And then they did a... Um, and they did a one in kind of a dark brown. So this is the red one that they offer. And then there's this dark brown one called the Skookum. Don't know what that is. Um, but the question remains, essentially, whatever happened to this team and these guys? And I don't really know. Uh, they kind of disappeared off the map. If you go to Creature Replica's Twitter account, the last post, December 13th, 2016, free shipping is back until Friday. Looks like they were selling product. Here's a picture of the guys with their four figures in the shop. I think we can make this. Oh, it's a, uh, yeah, here we go. It's an, actually an article, October 31st, Halloween. Pretty cool. They had an article done on them. So I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing that they, um, they sold out of stock and then they just moved on in life. And there's, that's it for Creature Replica. There's no more other creatures coming. There's no more, you know, I don't see a Loch Ness monster coming down the pike or, um, you know, some of these other mythological jackalopes or whatever. I don't, you know, maybe it could be a, a dangerous jackalope and they could work it in. Uh, the person who sculpted it is known as Jean St. Jean. This is Jean St. Jean's um, Instagram account. You can see that they've posted all their sort of, you know, this is someone who engages in sculpture. Hey, there's the Himalayan Yeti. There it is. Right there, it's been photoshopped in. And uh, Jean St. Jean also has an Etsy shop. You might want to check that out if you think any of this stuff is kind of cool. I see weird, like, sort of demonic bat Bigfoot men, moth men, lizard, lizard bats, uh, bath, bathomats, bath, bathomats, yeah, gothic creepy stuff, things with fur, scary eyes, jawas with wings, that kind of stuff. So... Um, it appears to me that this was just kind of an idea that a couple of dudes had, and they had found a sculptor who made these Bigfoots, that kind of thing. And uh, you could get all four of them for 120 bucks on Big Bad Toy Store in 2016, and I think they're gone. Um, so I have one. We should probably go take a look at it. Um, let me turn the cam just a little bit. And I'm going to talk about this thing from, uh, you know, from the idea of uh, being a known. So, the Himalayan Yeti, uh, this thing, right, uh, is a really kind of a heavy brick of plastic. It reminds me of this toy I had. It was um, a Marvel X-Men The Beast, and it was like a 10-inch guy, and it was just this thick thing, and it it was really tough to move. The articulation sucked on it. It was just, you know, when you get that really thick, chunky plastic. And this guy is no different, right? The, um, the hands, uh, you know, are kind of uh, barely move on it because there's just so much sculpting around it. It's blocked by the fur. Uh, the arms do this kind of thing, but it's really tough and really stiff to move these joints. This hand does not even rotate. I don't know that it even has the ability to rotate it. Maybe just glued in there. Um, something really annoying about this is that the um, the has a buttocks piece, and it prevents the leg from going backwards. So it can go forwards a little bit, but it can go backwards nothing. Now another feature, it's got a type of a swing mount so that you could spread the legs, right? You see how there's a little thing there? But a piece of plastic here prevents it from moving out past this middle cod piece. So uh, the articulation on this thing's kind of a lemon, I would say. Uh, next up is the paint job on this thing. I think the paint job on this thing is mediocre and terrible at best. I'm going to say why. Basically, they had white and somebody just came along and sprayed some blue and some yellow on it. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of works, but you've got all this really amazing sculpting. Why not take advantage of that and do a really cool combination of washes on this thing to take advantage fully of how much hair this guy sculpted into it and make it look really cool and pop out. In fact, um, 
if I keep this thing, and uh, I'm not sure why I would, but if I do keep it, I'm going to repaint it because it kind of looks, this yellow and blue on here actually looks kind of shitty if you ask me. And some people I know in their review said it looked cool. Some people are wrong. They're totally wrong. Uh, other unusual thing, this base, which has a nice sort of, uh, sort of goat head, goat skull in it, has these really crazy tall pegs. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but here's the hole, and if you were to have this figure, here's, go into it, the uh, peg would come out through the top, okay? This is where the, the hole is. The pegs do not fit in there. It, it only goes in like about a quarter of the way that the size of the peg is. You cannot put this guy down. I do not understand this these pegs and the holes drilled for it. Even if I drill out the holes, it will go through the feet. You're going to have to shave the pegs down. Why, why did they do that? It looks so weird that they can't get the pegs right on this thing. So um, maybe it's time to wrap up Creature Replica because, you know, you came in expecting, expecting nothing but huge praise for this forgotten toy line of weird Bigfoots and Yetis, uh, but it's kind of a lug, okay? If you're thinking you want to get one of these things, right, uh, I would say try to get it for 20 bucks. If you've got to pay more than 20 $30 with shipping for it, getting ripped off, I paid twenty nine ninety four, barely a good deal. These things are big lugs, and they can't do much, uh, despite the fact that, yes, the sculpts could be considered kind of cool, there's really nothing interesting or unusual as a character. It's just kind of a, a, a muscle dude with fur. That's my opinion on it. I don't know. I could be totally wrong on Creature Replica. I was actually at first really excited to get this thing, and then when I got it in hand, I feel like it was kind of a lemon. Who knows? Your results may uh, may vary. You may get one of the, you know, Louisiana you know, Rogaroos or maybe the other guy, and you're like, it's perfect. He's Sasquatch. He's, you just put him in the background. You can't see him. He's perfect. Well, maybe you're right. So thanks, everybody, made this far into the video. As always, do what you can to like and subscribe, but mainly, everybody, just stay charged.